40.5. Hey y'all, Artist Boy Girl here, also known as APG Jamie. And today we're going to make these alcohol ink cards. Um, if you have an aversion to permanent stains on your hands, I highly recommend using some uh, gloves some, of some sort. Okay? Just saying. So, so we're just going to use some alcohol inks. Um, these are probably a uh, Ranger product. I also have some very old product that I rejuvenated with uh, alcohol and a little bit of the Ranger blending solution. Okay. And when I say old product, I mean, y'all remember that rainbow thing? The rainbow alcohol ink? Yeah. And it's funny because, you know, that was a Ranger product too. Just saying. So I am using um, HP Glossy Photo Paper, and I've cut them down to, you know, little chunks because we've been playing with this in our Creative Circle Wednesday groups here locally. And uh, I like the little small pieces, and, you know, I turned my first few into cards, and I thought, oh, let's do it again. So here I'm using a uh, stencil, which happens to be a Tim Holtz stencil. Uh, there will be a list of ingredients in the description box below. Please click on the uh, word that says more uh -huh, to see more. Imagine it. And here I'm just kind of cleaning it off with some alcohol on a uh, paper towel, do believe. Head gun, everybody. And I sprayed uh, those two there with a little work workable fixative. Just because I wanted to, uh, you know, sort of layer it up. And uh, there I was using a spray. But as y'all saw with paper towels hanging all around and junk, I took and draped paper towel over my left forearm so that when I spritzed, it kind of stayed, you know, got captured, if you will. You know, more or less, it got captured. Now, pay attention to this one, okay? Because y'all will see this one later. And uh, I'm spritzing on some green. That was one of the ones I rejuvenated. Mm-hmm. There's some yellow or maybe orange. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Oh, so let's use a straw and blow some of these around. So you can see my, my beautiful hair <laughs> from time to time. You don't mind, do y'all? No, y'all don't. So, just using a straw and blowing around. This is a, a, a pearly kind of color. It's one of my older ones. Not rainbow, but it's old, y'all. Old. From olden days. <laughs> it still sort of worked. More or less. Mostly. Enough. I mean, you know, it. Ta when I say olden, I do mean, you know, like a multiple year interval, y'all. So... As you can see, you can blow them around. There's lots of stuff you can do with these. It does, it's, you know, just one of those things that takes some practice. You have to be willing to spend some time trying to figure out what, um, you know, what, what you're trying to accomplish and junk like that. Ah, a little sweet tea going on. It's summertime here and it's hot. No, I said it was hot. <laughs> Blistering, people. Blistering. So we're just going to wiggle this one around. We're going to make some drippage, some runs and drippages. That's uh, regular alcohol. I have that in a spritz bottle. And I wanted more of a drops. Pig gun! Some more, y'all. So I was taking the uh, spritzer thing out and, you know, using the little... Oh, set it on fire! Y'all, be careful <laughs> if you're going to try this. And it doesn't do much. It didn't really do anything on the photo paper that I could see other than blistered uh, a little piece of the photo paper, which we're, you know, going to print it in like that didn't even happen. I didn't take, you know, the necessary safety precautions. I had a uh, wet towel nearby because, you know, alcohol is flammable, y'all. And you will notice on all your containers of your alcohol inks, 
including the blending solution, that it says flammable. Now here's a piece of plastic wrap, and that was the, uh, the drop paper, which happened to be the photo paper as well that I was working on top of because why waste all that kind of ink, you know? I want my quarter. I want my quarter. I want to get all my quarters worth, okay? So it did sun, kind of, more or less. Now working on UPO, UPO paper is a little bit different. I'm not going to do UPO paper. Paper, 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 paper. Paper. It's a real paper. I, I'm not going to uh, show y'all UPO paper here, just this here HP photo paper. And now I'm taking that same piece of plastic wrap and I scrunched it all up and I'm just going to dobble around with some gold and uh, that pearl again. And let's get out this here stencil. And we're going to spray this little strip. I almost missed it, y'all. And uh, what do we spray it a green? And now what are we gonna do? Oh, we're still dobbing on the background there. Oh, let's look. Now we're gonna use this stencil. List of ingredients below. My video paused. I hope your video didn't pause. I'm gonna take black ink on, uh, you know, the the foam, or not foam, <laughs> the um, felt squares and smoosh it through the. Um, thing and now my whole video went black so uh, I'm having weird weird stuff y'all let's use the advanced tape gun glider also known as an ATG gun I don't know why we feel like we have to add that word gun on there gun and we're going to turn these into greeting cards and again my video is kind of doing something weird so I pre-cut and all my little mats and stuff because y'all, y'all don't need to see me cutting all that because, you know, it's it's not necessarily measured with the ruler or anything, you know. I just kind of lay it on there and go, yeah, that looks good. And I cut it and go, yeah, I want that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And on this one, I used a piece of, um, you know, the plastic from packaging, you know, regular packaging. And I cut it down. I did use an emery board uh, nail file. It's not an emery board. It's the other, the foamy one, to uh, smooth off the edges of the plastic because it could be a little sharp and rounded the corner ever so slightly, ever so slightly, y'all. And let's see. We should be moving on to a second card. And I happen to have a feather laying over there on my desk because, you know, it was left over from some other project. So guess what made it on this card? A feather. And since reviewing this video that is acting up as I do my voiceover, I think I might go ahead and add a couple of gems to this one. Some little jimmy, shimmy, shimmy, shiny stuff. So, um, yeah, ink the edges. Hey, T Chicken, working on the mats. And I made a black, a white, a cream, and a craft colored card. They're all basically the same size and they will be sold as a set. Mm -hmm. I plan on putting these down at the uh, art gallery for purchase. We'll see how well that goes. Okay. You know, they're very unique and. Um, fun. Oh, I think they're fun. They're going to be blank, blank greeting cards because, you know, then you can say whatever you want to on the inside. It can be whatever. It can be a happy birthday, congratulations, thinking of you, hey, what's going on kind of cards, you know. Yeah. You know. I know y'all know. So, there we go. There's one. Oh, that was number two. This is going to be number three. And uh, this is the one where, where it got blistered a little bit. So I trimmed it off. And then I thought, well, let's just make three, like, kind of card tiles of, of a sort. And I made them just slightly different size. And trying to get it straighted. You know. It's me, y'all. They're not necessarily straight. Watch. See, it doesn't even cut straight, so I had to use scissors on there. It's as straight as it's going to be. 
<sighs> and when I do my little finger like that, I'm just flipping over some of that excess um, tape runner, you know, so sip, sip a tea, y'all. Now let's figure out what we're going to do. Let's figure out an orientation. And towards the end, I will feel, you know, off screen. Well, no, I did it on screen, but that video really messed up. So anyway, um, figure out whether it's a landscape or a portrait style core, cord, cord, cord. <laughs> Sweet tea, y'all. And making my tongue a little sticky in my vocal box. Yeah. So anyway, I figure out which which one do I prefer so that I can stamp my little purple door and, you know, the year that it's been made in. This is going to get a gem. I chose the uh, gray gem as opposed to a purple or a black or even just a clear one because I thought it looked classy. I thought it looked classy, y'all. So anywho, um, yeah. Uh, orientation on these for the most part except the one with the feather could go either landscape or portrait the one with the with the feather is really kind of you know landscape orientation mm -hmm. and uh, this one I'm rounding the corners and I could not find my little hole punch and I don't mean the hole punch I mean circle punch when I say hole punch I mean circle punch because I wanted that you know concave in there yeah concave so I found my oval punch I've still got to find my oh my circle punch and uh, yeah that uh, yeah more or less I don't know where that thing is it's got to be on my desk somewhere somebody needs to come over and clean my space Oh, I think the AC just kicked off. That's what that extra blowing noise was. If y'all could hear it, that is. If you couldn't hear it, then it was nothing. And I decided to uh, make the same little notch on the card base itself. And likewise, I round over that upper corner on the card base. These are prepaid card bases. Okay, because, yeah, they go on sale. And if they're not on sale and you need them, you can use a coupon. You know. So let's see. We're going to put some little teeny tiny marks that I could barely see. My head probably even gets in the way. Oh, a little bit. So, um, because I'm marking them. Mm hmm. And, uh, but I do try to get them straight. I do try, y'all. I try. Mm -hmm. so there we go <laughs> the ones I made uh, before for uh, you know after we, we played with this in class and I made them um, some cards out of there I was showing the girls you know yeah you bring your stuff up there and show and tell and Jen, this is what I did with this stuff when I went home um, anyway those cards I actually ended up selling one to one of the girls so yeah if an artist bought them, somebody else is bound to buy them. So here's this one again. I don't know what was up with this. That that ink just never actually dried. Can you see it rubbing off on there? It came off on my hand. So I, I actually threw that one in the garbage. Well, okay. Recycle bin. And the trash man has already picked it up. So it's gone. And here's my little purple door. And my date stamp and this one like I said they can go most of them can go either way I like that's cute it's cute I think I'm gonna put some actually I'm real sure I'm gonna put some little diamonds on there well it's gonna get some diamonds look at that I like them I think they're pretty y'all like them I know you do <laughs> oh goodness oh I forgot to tell y'all photo montage <laughs> end of the video it was right at 15 minutes long you're welcome thanks for watching and happy arting y'all